Hello everyone, welcome to Daily Devotion for the 17th day of September 2020. And today we'll be having uh, uh, the topic, Becoming an Exemplary Leader. This is the part one of this topic. So uh, let's take our text uh, from Genesis 11 verse 3. And they said one to another, Go to, let us make brick, and burn them thoroughly. And they had brick for stone, and slime had they for mortar. Now, standing out as an exemplary leader, it means you must be different. You must not be common or tagged along with every other person. There's something that must make you stand out to become an exemplary leader. You have to be exceptional for people to follow you. That's the truth. If you're not exceptional at what you do, nobody will follow you. You must have to go beyond being just ordinary to extraordinary. And how do I mean? For example, if set of footballers want to uh, uh, model about somebody, they will go after a, a good player, a fantastic player who gives hat tricks in several matches than going for a player who hardly or barely score a goal in a match. Or for example, if you look at the entertainment industry for a musician for who has earned three, four Grammys in the past years, is far way different from uh, a musician who hardly have ever hit a Grammy. So people will always look at people who do something outside the box, who are extraordinary in what they do. Now, to be an example like that, you must show results. People don't just want to follow you because you, you're, that's a leader figure. It's not a title thing. It's not about the title. It's about what you can give out from good leadership. So people want to see results. People want to see somebody exceptional. People want to see somebody extraordinary. Like from the test we read, the leaders at that time told these people, let's come together. Let's use brick. Let's make use of brick and erect a, a tower that will go right there up to heaven. And they believed. They believed these leaders. For these leaders to have this great idea, wow, they believed their leaders. They didn't argue. They didn't have doubts of their leaders. So I, I, I tag this set of people as leaders under a leadership. Because for them to, to have faith in these guys, in these leaders that we are going to erect a building direct to heaven, they are leaders, of course. So for them to even believe this leadership, this leadership must have been fantastic. They must have been outside the box. And that's why these people believe that we are going to actually build this uh, a tower that we erect to heaven. So today, a lot of people in the society, they seek good leadership. In Nigeria today, we seek good leadership. But you know one thing, good leadership starts from you and starts from me. It starts from us. You must ask the Holy Spirit to inspire you, to give you ideas, to give you innovation, innovative ideas that can make you break out of the bus. And until you can do this, you can never be an exemplary leader. So I want you to open your mouth right now, ask the Holy Spirit to guide you through, to inspire you, to make, give you something that will make you be exceptional in your area or in your career in your field, in your business, in your discipline, whatever you lay your hands to do, whatever you're doing right now for a living, ask the Holy Spirit to give you something that will make you stand out to become an exemplary leader. Amen. And I hope this worked out for you. And thank you very much for joining today's devotion. Uh, till I come your way again, stay blessed. God bless you. Bye.